All right, so I have a 2006 Volkswagen Passat. Uh, this is the a part now. This is the 09G six-speed. And the deal was with this is we were having an issue. We're actually just doing a repair on this. Um, this had an issue in second and sixth gear, slipping in second and sixth. Uh, the Prindle on the dash would light up. And when it did, it would produce code P0730, gear ratio error. So what I did was I dropped out the valve body while the transmission was still in the car. Because at one point, we put a valve body in this uh, to straighten out uh, another issue. Um, typically, when you have a bad valve body, uh, the car will work okay cold and not work okay hot, meaning you get in the car, don't let it warm up, you just get into it and drive it, the thing will work like there's no problems at all. As it starts to heat up or when it heats up, you may get delays in forward and reverse, you may get bangs on the downshift, you may get flares on the upshift, but if you don't get that cold, then usually um, it means you have a valve body issue. Okay, so when he brought this back, uh, I asked them to leave it overnight because I want to drive it cold, see how it works cold versus when it works hot, and it didn't work cold or hot. So I knew we were dealing with an internal issue. Uh, so what I did was I dropped the pan, dropped out the valve body, and I decided to air check the unit, you know, through the, through the case here. And on the B1 clutch, there was nothing there. Just I put the air in, and it was just blown by. The K1 was solid. This is the K1 clutch drum, the K3 clutch drum. The K2 and the B2 is still there. I'm not even going to take that out. Uh, so I knew we were dealing with uh, an in internal issue. So what I want to do is get a little closer now and show you exactly what happened. The O-rings ended up getting cut on the B1 piston, which is right here that goes in the pump. Because uh, there was an issue with the apply ring. I have a, another apply ring here. Uh, so let me get a little closer and... Show you guys what's going on with this, what I found had happened. And then I gotta get this thing together. I wanna at least get it built up to the pump before the bell housing goes on, and I wanna air check it again. Uh, so let me get a little closer, and I'll show you what I found with this unit. All right, so here is the B1 apply ring. All right, here is the piston. I have new O-rings on the piston already, and this sits on, well, it's better on this one, on the new one, and it sits on here and, of course, applies the, the B1 clutch uh, in second and in sixth. So here is the old apply ring. You can see it is broken, uh, cracked uh, here, a couple of maybe stress cracks here. I honestly have never seen this before, uh, but, you know, this is the problem. So when I went to air check this after I dropped the valve body out with the O-rings cut, there was nothing there. You know, the air was just blown right by, which would simulate like oil pressure. All right, here are the, uh, here are the rings, the seals. And I got a new set of clutches because I just want to make sure everything is okay. All right, they're really not that bad, but I'm changing them anyway. You got four of them in here, and of course you have the uh, steel that has to, the step has to face down. And I have a new uh, pump gasket. This is the metal one, the pump gasket, and I have a new O-ring. So that's what happened to this. That's why this thing was no good cold and hot. So what I got to start doing is putting this uh, back together here. You know, I took it. I took the whole front half of the unit apart. This is um, here your transfer gear, and this is your output speed sensor that actually you know goes through the case and, and reads and reads the gear, reads the uh, park gear. Uh, so that's pretty much what happened to this. Um, and this is the new valve body that we put in. You know, this I get these new from the dealer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting this thing together uh, and then 
I want to air check it just to make sure everything is okay. So let me just get set up for that. And uh, I will be back uh, in a few. Okay, so here is the B2, which I had nothing on before. You can see it's holding a pressure until I release it. All right, and then we have the K1. And the K3. All right, then we got the B2. And K2 is here. Yeah. And this is a B1 accumulator here. So everything looks good. So I'm just going to finish assembling this and because uh, these guys are going to be in shortly. So uh, let me just uh, reset the camera real quick and we'll uh, uh, close out the video. All right, so again, I'm going to uh, put my bell housing on. I put that machine, got it all cleaned up. I have my seals here, the three seals, new pump o-ring. So I'm going to silicone and put it on, put the valve body on. I got my output speed sensor. I got to put back. Uh, and then the valve body and filter and pan because I got to get this thing going because these guys are going to be in shortly and this has to go back in starting right like at 8 o'clock. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so once again, <clears throat> I had no second and no six, which is the B1 clutch, and I found the apply ring to be cracked and I found the O rings to be torn. I redid the piston. Uh, I got a new apply ring. I got a new pump gasket and O ring. And I'm just going to finish this thing up. All right, so uh, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you next one. I'm also putting new uh, axle seals in this as well. All right, guys, have a great day.